What is acting? Well, that's a bigger question than you might think. So in order to answer that question, let's first take a look at a few examples. This is acting. Have you or have you not ever seen me overact? Frequently! It's a conspiracy! I knew it! This is acting. What? You went over my helmet? This is acting. You and me, we shouldn't be here. This is also Sir, acting. Crazy. Sir, I've got to check and see if you saw him yourself. And yes, even this is acting. But that may still not clear things up for you, so let's take a look at some actual definitions. Dictionary.com. The art, profession, or activity of those who perform in stage plays, motion pictures, etc. Merriam-Webster. The art or practice of representing a character on a stage or before cameras. Britannica. The art or profession of performing the role of a character in a play, movie, etc. The art or profession of an actor. So acting is an art. It's also a profession. What's the difference? Well, I guess you can be a painter who sells paintings for a living. So yeah, I mean, being both an art and a job, that makes sense. But that's only part of their definitions. It also says we perform characters or we represent characters. Is there a difference? <laughs> some might say yes, and some might say it's just semantics. So uh, we'll skip that for now. But then there's that other bit, in a play or a movie, or on a stage or before cameras. Well, before a camera is pretty broad, so it lets us include things like TV, web series, short films. But on a stage opens some more questions, like what constitutes a stage? What about acting in a park or on a street corner? And for that matter, how about voiceover? That's in front of a microphone. No cameras or stages required. Do you see what I'm getting at? It's hard to be too specific about what acting is because there's a lot more acting in the world than you might think. If we really get into it, some theorists even say that you perform yourself in everyday life. A different version of you, depending on the situation, who you're with, what setting you're in, what you're doing, and so on and so forth. So in that way, aren't we all actors? Well, I don't personally care too much about all that, but what I'm trying to point out is that acting, well, like the question, it's pretty big. There's a lot of opportunities in acting, even beyond acting. The skill set of an actor can be pretty helpful in a lot of different professions, like teaching, sales, customer service, law, and yes, even politics. But let's save that for another time. What we can gather from our definitions is that it all has to do with characters, people as those characters, and plays and movies, you know, on stage and before camera, those are just stories. So people acting as characters in stories. That's it. And no matter how they do it, whatever medium they choose, that is kind of what acting is. Now, I've just explained that trying to define acting is difficult, but, <laughs> well, I hate to leave it too vague for those of you who came searching for an actual answer. So I'll just pick a definition I like to leave you with. There's a famous acting teacher named Sanford Meisner who said, and this may be a slight paraphrase, but acting is the ability to live truthfully under a given set of imaginary circumstances. And I think that pretty much sums it up. It's hard to have a good idea of what acting truly is unless you experience it yourself. Another famous acting teacher, Michael Chekhov, said, the technique of acting can never be properly understood without practicing it. Now, that's, uh, that's really referring more to the how of acting rather than the what. But I think the same concept applies here. Now, if you're watching a video titled, What is Acting? It stands to reason that you're probably interested in it. So why not practice it? Try it out. You'll certainly understand it a lot better. So find yourself a local community theater and do a play. Or audition for a student film at your local university. You'll learn a lot. And it just so happens that I teach it too. So look out for more videos and feel free to contact me about getting your training or coaching started. Thanks for watching and until next time.